The hosting of the Super Rugby Unlocked and the Carling Curry Cup would not have been possible without the collaboration and hard work of all those people involved behind the scenes. There I've got to thank my team doctors. Not only did they manage the teams well, but they we worked together weekly uh, on a conference call to discuss all our problems. So just a big thank you to the team doctors. Also, big thank you to the management and coaching staff who had to change the way they do things just to incorporate a testing schedule so that we could get a tournament up and running. I'd like to also thank the players. Um, there were many times that they had to uh, live life by a stricter code than the rest of the public. Why? Because they had to look after their behavior away from the training. So that meant that they really, um, you know, were encouraged not to go for coffee when people were allowed to go to coffee shops. They were just encouraged to do essential shopping and spend time at home. So a big thank you and shout out to the players for what they did. Also a big thank you to Super Sport. You know, without them, we would have never got the, the, the games broadcast. And they many times at the last minute had to change a time or a game had to be called off and they were very accommodating. So we really thank them for their assistance and help. Um, and last but not least, the CEOs, the CEOs of all the unions involved, um, they really worked together. This was about getting a competition up and running so that we could keep the game alive. And the CEOs were instrumental in making sure that happened.